Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. And in this edition of Don't Be That Guy, we're gonna cover a very uh, important lesson for a lot of the newbies out there. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this intro music. So once again, everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. We're here at the home QTH in New Brunswick today. And I was on the air with a colleague of mine, Whiskey Zero, Yankee Kilo Oscar, do you believe? Brand new uh, flora and fauna operator from the POTA side. Now does uh, both POTA and flora and fauna when he goes out and does activations. Way to go. Wish more of you guys did that. So easy to add on flora and fauna to your POTA activations. Anyway, in today's video, I want to use this as a bit of a teaching moment instead of a scolding moment. So I was on with uh, Whiskey Zero, Yankee Kilo Oscar, just finishing up a QSO. And all of a sudden this uh, station, I can't remember his his call now, and it doesn't matter, just called, started calling CQ, it's out of the blue. And I can tell he was a new ham, just from his way of uh, calling CQ. Uh, there are certain characteristics that tip off if the, if the operator is new or seasoned. You can just tell. By the, you can tell by the confidence in their voice when they're calling CQ and just their mannerisms and just the way they're the way they structure their CQ call. Anyway, this was a brand new ham. So what I want to educate all the brand new guys, and we're in the technician portion of the 10 meter band in the US, and uh, this guy just started calling CQ. So I went on there very politely and said, sorry, uh, old man, the frequency is in use. Uh, it's been in use for a while. And uh, he said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, went rightly so, and that's no problem. And I said, well, make sure you ask first. Just don't call, start calling CQ willy-nilly. So that's the lesson I want to teach all you guys today. It doesn't matter what band you're on. Um, 10 meters, 50 meters, 20, 17, 40, whatever, right? Even 2 meter FM simplex. You may not be able to hear some, but that's the lesson today I want to try to teach you. Just because the band appears to be quiet, don't take it automatically that it's not being used. Especially on the upper bands, like 10 meters, you may not be able to hear the station that's working because you're in their skip zone. So always ask, and I, I, my rule of thumb is ask three times. Ask three times if the frequency is in use. If the station who's occupying the frequency can't hear you, they're obviously not gonna to respond to you. But somebody like me, who just happened to be on the frequency, um, will, out of courtesy, tell you that the frequency is in use. So in this case, situation, if the operator were to come on and said, hey, is the frequency in use? I could have came on and said, yes, uh, yes, it is. Thank you for asking. So that's the lesson I want to teach today is just ask if the frequency is in use. Ask three times. And if nobody responds to you and then you start calling and somebody scolds you, then that's on them, not on you, because you did ask three times. So uh, yeah, just ask, always ask if the frequency is in use. Just don't start calling willy-nilly. And uh, that's where you get yourself, you know, you know, scolded by some of these other seasoned hams who like to scold people. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to these videos. And thanks to everybody who mentioned on the air that you, they uh, enjoy these videos. We really appreciate hearing that. Again, I'm Stuart. See you later in the next video. Don't know when that'll be. It'll be sometime soon.